from the Austin P State University Writing Center. In this video, we will be going over combining sentences. The best papers flow smoothly from one idea to another. Choppy writing is usually the biggest issue when a paper doesn't flow well. For example, the workers built the roads. They were tired after a hot day. There are a couple of different ways to combine sentences. One way to avoid choppiness is the combination of simple sentences to show the relationship between the ideas of two sentences. Another way is to use a comma and a coordinating conjunction. The best way to remember the seven coordinating conjunctions is by using the acronym FANBOYS for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. For example, the workers built the roads and they were tired after a hot day. Use a semicolon and a conjunctive adverb. For example, the workers built the roads. Consequently, they were tired after a hot day. Pause on this slide to take notes on the conjunctive adverbs, such as accordingly, also, finally, further, next, since, and more. Use a subordinate clause, which is a phrase dependent upon the main part of the sentence, to show the relative importance of the two clauses. When a subordinate clause is at the end of the sentence, though, no comma is used. For example, because the workers built the roads, they were tired after a hot day, and the workers were tired after a hot day because they built the roads. Use relative pronouns such as that, which, who, whom, whose, whoever, and whomever to combine ideas. For example, the workers who built the roads were tired after a hot day. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation. If you have any further questions, please schedule an appointment with a writing tutor today. We also have other resources available on our website and YouTube channel. Thank you so much.